with uh, Mark Irwin. And Mark, can you just tell uh, the people or my audience what it is that you do in boxing? And then we'll talk about uh, your upcoming event. Great. What do I do? Well, um, I guess before I even tell you what I get into doing, um, to me it's the greatest sport on the planet Earth. Love it. Love every aspect of it. And uh, some time ago I decided to dip my dip my big toe into it. And um, I was fortunate enough to have uh, incredible friends like uh, Courtney Shand, who was a longtime friend and strength and conditioning coach of the great Lennox Lewis. And uh, I've traveled, I, I dare say, across the world to go and watch it. So uh, I went out and spent my money watching it as a fan because I absolutely love the sport. Okay. sport. So fan first. Fan okay. First. And, and that was, um, was that your earliest kind of um, involvement in boxing? Involvement, yeah, I would say so. Um, I was uh, extremely fortunate to get to know uh, uh, quite a few of the, uh, the fighters over a period of time. And um, I guess was really, really lucky to involve myself with a couple of youngsters and then uh, decided to get into a little bit more than what I, what I have. Right. And uh, decided to... Uh, try uh, my hand at uh, managing some fighters and uh, matchmaking recently in the last couple of years and uh, now I'll throw my hat into the promotional ring. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about this promotion. It's going to be uh, coming up September 22nd. Um, tell us a little bit about the promotion, the idea around the promotion and where it will be. Well, Oshawa. Oshawa, Ontario. 50 years. It's been almost 50 years. 1969 was the last time there was professional boxing in um, in Oshawa. And uh, I guess maybe a bit of a pipe dream. I don't know. Uh, I, I hope that I'm not a one and done guy, but I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, the one thing I can do is this. I can I can unequivocally throw my, uh, uh, or tip my hat rather, to all the promoters here in uh, in Ontario and say, it is a lot deeper than I expected it to be. So to those people out there like United Promotions, to Lee Baxter, to Les Woods, um, and uh, everyone else who's ever given this a crack, well, good on you, mm -hmm. because there's a big undertaking. And those people have paved paved the way. They've really, really paved the way, so I, I tip my hat to them. There's a lot of undertaking. Um, a lot of involvement with the fighters. Um, and there's a lot of obstacles, too, yeah. which I probably didn't really expect them to be there so I really really respect the promotional side of things that's for sure and um, you know they they've done a they, you know like them or not they've done a tremendous job in a difficult environment 100% this is like probably the most and I'm talking about globally the most difficult environment to promote in because of the amount of regulation the amount of money it takes to put on a show and um, and and the, just the time involved thank goodness or the, the blessing and the curse is that we don't have a lot of media to also deal with scrutinizing your every move um, but it also could assist with promotion as well Well, but to that end you know to that end I, I might say something that's a tad controversial um, I um, I'm very proud to say that you know as of late to see a couple of youngsters in San Vargas and Brandon Cook go out and fight on the on the national scene yeah it's the local promoters that did it no thanks absolutely no thanks to our media because mm -hmm. the media has nothing to do with anything. They come out to nothing. Right. They've only wrote, written most recently on what's gone on. Shame on them. Right. I won't read what they have to write. Right. Because if they have no regard for what has gone on to this point, why would I read what they have after the fact? I don't even know these kids. Right. And that's a fact. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to me, you want to write an article? You want to say something today? Let the promoters write it. Because they're the ones with the uh, inside uh, track on these young guys that are out there on the national scene now. Okay, and speaking of the guys that are going to be there, um, who is going to be on this card? I've seen um, some internet advertising. Now, one, I'm, I'm not going to say his name properly. Uh, Chad? Thad. Thad, okay, sorry. So I knew I was going to mess that up, but you can tell me more about that because I've seen a lot of his, he's done a great job in terms of putting himself out there Good in social him. media. Yeah. And he is really promoting this, and I see that he's got a strong um, relationship with the people in in uh, Oshawa and yeah, his he community. Yeah, he does. He does. Well, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great community. It's a great spot. 
And one of the, the thought processes was to, you know, not to mow anybody else's lawn. You know, it seems like um, it seems like uh, United has got Mississauga pretty well covered, and they and they do events, you know, wherever they want. And most recently uh, up north, uh, and um, and certainly uh, Les has taken both Niagara Falls, and uh, as 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 Lee's Lee's done a great job out, out in Toronto and uh, the Brampton area. So. It was virgin territory out in Oshawa, um, as I said, almost 50 years that mm -hmm. it hadn't been there. Mm -hmm. And Don Nelson out of Motor City Boxing, along with uh, Mike Power, these guys do such a great job with the, the amateur world out there. I think it was one of their uh, bucket lists to, to put on a show, and uh, I've had a conversation with them and, you know, just decided to take that leap of faith. Uh, there are two kids fighting out of Motor City, um, a national champion in uh, Evan Gillard. I mean, here's a kid that walks around about five foot seven or so. He walks around probably about 110 pounds. It's unbelievable. I mean, you know, t t uh, not many, not many professional fighters in North America, let alone Canada. So, uh, you know, the greatest fighter we've had in our time with that light uh, weight uh, was Steve Molitor, and uh, few and far between, you know, in those mm -hmm. lighter weight divisions. But he's substantially smaller than uh, than Molitor. It's not in height, but in but in weight. Right. Um, and Thad Aridzil, uh, Thad, like you, you mentioned, working tremendously hard. So both of these young kids are making their debut. Okay. And then just north, just north, I'm super proud about this, um, uh, part of uh, First Nation uh, Curve Lake, uh, a young lad by the name of Jordan McHugh will be making his debut. So working extremely hard to, to make it happen. And... Um, there's a young uh, lady out of Belleville by the name of Madison Blakely. She had a controversial split decision loss uh, out in uh, the Belleville area recently. Okay. Okay. It's a rematch. Nice. Apparently these two girls trade leather pretty good. I was tipped off by Jim Gentle that these two would be a great addition, so let's 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 do it again. And are they are going to be on the amateur side or the professional side? They're pros. Oh, yeah, they're, they're pros. pros. Okay. Yeah, so okay. these, those, those, those uh, four fights there... Uh, Relative newcomers to uh, to the boxing, and then to uh, top it off, our uh, our main event is the Rock Jesse Wilcox. Watch out for this kid! <laughs> I'm telling you, watch out for this kid. Um, he's fighting uh, uh, eight and two Ernesto Elvera out of uh, out of Mexico. So it's a nice card. Five uh, five uh, amateurs, um, and then five pro fights, okay. and, the, uh, and the amateurs. Again, it was sort of like giving back to that community that, if, and in fact, a lot of these people probably never even seen a pro fight, mm -hmm. you know, and so gives them the opportunity to uh, to see both, to watch the amateurs, and then maybe, you know, for, even though some of them haven't seen it, maybe these amateurs might get a taste of this, and some of them are getting up there in ages in their 20s, and they might say, you know what, maybe my next step is to turn pro. Right. But to allow a couple of these youngsters who are from Oshawa the, to debut in their hometown is like probably a dream come true for them, so... Happy to be a part of that for yeah, sure. Absolutely, and I'm sure they want, they're appreciating the fact that they're getting the opportunity to, you know, apply their trade on the big stage in their backyard, which is yeah. a, a great opportunity. It's a great sports city. There's nothing professional there, but I mean, the days of Bobby Orr and Eric Lindros and all those guys. I mean, you know, it's a great sports city. Just nothing professional. So, so what about the? So if people want to come out to the show, can you tell people like how they can get tickets, how they can. Um, get involved in, in, in what's going on on that day. Yeah, Classic Boxing Company. It's, uh, it's all on Facebook. It's a brand new company. Uh, Jim Gentle and myself uh, have formed it recently. And as I say, you know, uh, we hope it's not one and done. But you know what? Uh, these kids are going to get a taste. They're going to get their pro debut. So each of the fighters, um, you know, they represent uh, it very well. They've all got tickets in their hands. And, of course, uh, on the evening, uh, Children's Arena in Oshawa, there'll be tickets available uh, right at the door. And so, um, if so, if anybody's looking for tickets for the event, they can get them from any of the fighters that are on the card, uh, Jesse Wilcox, Thad, any of the people that are fighting on the you card. 100%. And um, the best way to find them is maybe through social media. Yes. To find them either on Facebook or maybe Instagram if they have that. You got it. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about what the tickets are going to be priced at and when is the show going to start? Well, there may be there may be some general admissions left at $35. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, there are there are a few floor seats left at $50. Everything's everything's relative, you know. Right. It's a small market, so you know everybody can go in and afford as a family. Right. Um, I believe all the bronze tables at $750 have been sold out, but there's a few silvers and a few golds left, $1,000 and $1,500. They seat 10, so 
uh, a great night out, very inexpensive, inexpensive for uh, a professional. Uh, a night of professional boxing, yeah. absolutely. Um, and that's going to be once again in Oshawa at Children's Arena. All right. And um, if you want your tickets, get in touch with these fighters before the opportunity to uh, before the opportunity goes. Definitely want to check it out uh, with it coming up. Um, so, is there anything that you want people to know about um, yourself as a promoter coming onto the Ontario scene? Um, you've you've had an extensive history in boxing. Now you've kind of covered a lot of aspects. What would be what would be something else that you would be looking at going forward? if not promoting like we know that this this may be something else that you might do but is there also anything else that interests you in boxing are you interested in managing fighters again is it, it do you want people to kind of be contacting you and letting you know about the new talent that's that's up and coming out there you know i i think um like for me you know uh i don't know whether the word extensive is uh quite accurate but i can just say that you know i, I love the sport and as long as i can be involved in it uh I'd love to. Um, the, the, the I'm following the path thus far. I mean, it's been it's been you know put out to these guys uh, like United and uh, like a youngster like Lee Baxter have come on the scene and done what they've done and uh, and, uh, and, and and Les Woods and these guys they've just done a really good job and and Three Lions Promotions out in Hamilton. Gosh, these are three young bucks that are you know uh, allowing people to uh, come out and you know do their thing. It's uh, you know, Ontario once was a small, small market, and it's, it's not that big yet, but gosh, a lot of these kids it's are getting the opportunity, and, and they're busy. Yeah, so if I can be a part of it as long as I'm welcome, then uh, then I'll do it. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fortunate guy, I think, you know, and um, just being blessed to be allowed to be involved is a, is a really cool thing. If I, um, if I was to say one thing that I would like to see change, I guess it would be... Uh, to work with a partner in the OAC, that it feels like a partnership, that it feels like there are things to discuss versus walking into a brick wall. And I think the transition as of late has been has been good. Yes, it's progress. Yes, and uh, you know I would say to to all the uh, the promoters out there that uh, they pave the way for you know a newer person like myself putting on this show. Um, and uh, hopefully it just gets easier because then uh, then these people can you know make it affordable to go out and do it and have more uh, more of it out there. And I mean, gosh, you know it seems like a really really um, well oiled machine out in Montreal. It's a completely different atmosphere out there. Yeah. You know uh, to watch the commission be involved with everybody. They know you by your name. It's like outstanding. You know. And, and we could be on the we could be en route to that. Well, I'd be en route to that, and you know by golly. Be nice to see someone out from the media following the sport just a little tiny bit, yeah. and maybe get it mainstream, and perhaps even on TV every once in a blue moon wouldn't hurt either. Yeah, yeah. I think we're heading in that direction, and uh, thanks in part to people like you taking the opportunity and the risk and the chance um, and putting in the work to make these things happen. Thanks so much for your time, and uh, thank you so much for informing and educating um, the viewers of the Deal Boxing Show. And if you can, make it out to this show, September 22nd. Thanks for having me. I was trying to get it I live. I want them dead presidents. I want to pull up. Head spin. Get it, get flat. I got six jobs. I don't get tired. I don't get tired.